Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Your New kid! Your parents now are you're gonna feel the wrath of my kind! You're dead! Worst wedgie ever coming your way! Wait up! I got something to tell you! If that's all good, you don't have any style, do you? Yo, what the heck are you with all these clicks? You're gonna feel the pain! You don't even what I'm gonna do to you! Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. See you around! Now, guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid, beat him down. You better run. If oh. I catch you, you're oh. over. Done, oh. finish. Oh. oh, he's getting beat. Oh, oh, use the arm bar. Use the arm bar. It's a freaking massacre. Stuff that dork wad's head up his butt. Ha-ha, yeah! Take him to hell! Ha-ha-ha! Give him the finisher! Give him the finisher! Double him! Ha-ha, yeah! Take him to hell! Ha-ha-ha! Kick his knees in! Stop doing that to yourself! That sucked, man! Seriously, that was the worst! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> You're dead, new kid! Dead! Grrr! 
Hey, Roar! you! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse I me. I said relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar Shut in the face. door. Just a soda machine. Mm. You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Come on, sugar rush. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me? Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Get lost, pal! Nobody likes you! Why are you picking on me? I like to buy stuff for people so they will like me. Oh no! Not again! Hey, Jimmy! Let me show you around this prison. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. You like to eat fish? I'm no threat to you. Your money. All of it. Why me? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Say Russell rule. Say it. This just enough not to smash you. Come on. Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Well done! You in real trouble. You know you look silly like that, don't you? Fight me, Stillweed. I'm just a regular I kid. Don't Was pick on me, man. Ever. I wish someone would last time I drink cough syrup. I wonder what oh. everyone is talking about this. Your move, Stillweed. 
Come on, little brain, this way. No whiskey. Trick man. You can lick my shoe sole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. There's that weird oh, chick Eunice. No. Let's have some fun with her. <laughs> Go. See what she wants. <laughs> Chocolate! Please get it back! I'm sure. You're wrong, punk, before I get upset. <laughs> what a lightweight. See this? Easy, not harmy. Uh, you, you want me to help? <laughs> Whoa! Take this stupid chocolate! What gives you the right to do that? Stop moving around! Um, want to make out? Sheesh! I'll remember this forever! You actually hey, you. kissed her! I really like your outfit. Let's go to the calf. I'll show you who's who. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. <laughs> What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good job. Keep paying attention. Fascinating, isn't it? You may have a future ahead of you, young man. 